In this video, I'm going to show you how to play audio in web widgets inside of Ecamm. And um, big thank you to Mr. Grant for this question. Uh, how do I get the sound to play from a web widget? When I add the video with the web widget, I don't get any sound. Thanks. Uh, there's a couple of things that I think this might be, Mr. Grant. So let's see if we can get you fixed and get you up and running. First of all, let me just build out a scene over here and because uh, I don't have one already done. So let me zoom in a bit. Uh, this might be a bit clunky coming in and out, but uh, try and let you see what's going on. So I'm going to call this one Web Widget. And uh, down here in my overlays, let's just pull that up so you can see it. Down here, this little globe symbol is our Web Widget overlay. So I tap that on here. Now it's just picked up the last one that I had. All the display name is going to do is let you see that in the overlays and then we put in our URL. I actually thought it might be useful on this one to, we just need something with audio in there. So actually what I'm going to do is pick up the YouTube video that uh, the question came from. So I can just pop that straight into here. Now these are defaults, 1280, 720, 30 frames per second. That's all good. Uh, high resolution, if you can cope with it, yep. Um, keep running. I'm going to tick this one for now for this video that we're doing. Add widget overlay. Now, notice what's going to happen when I bring this in is it's going to instantly start playing straight away. And by default, I can't interact with the web widget. So I'm going to go quite quickly and pr press the little button that'll be about here. So let's see. What if... Okay, actually, don't worry about that. It's just become, because this is YouTube, it's asking us to um, sign in. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click here. If you have an hour this week, you can learn. A but uh, this is really important because you can't get onto this with this little symbol. When it's grayed out, the idea is I can move this around and resize it, which I want to do. And typically, I would lock this scene in now. So we've put it here so that I'm not going to knock that. But when I turn this back on, I can now interact with this. And for me, playing a YouTube video like this, I can push this over to full screen. And how cool is that? We're now playing a full size video straight out of YouTube. Um, so what's happening with audio? If I just turn off these controls, you can see that we've got in YouTube, in the video that we're playing, when I press down here. A hundred songs on the piano by learning just four. For me, it's working. And did you notice that it's coming in under sound effects? And for a lot of you, you may well have sound effects muted. So playing this here, you're not going to get any sound to come through from it. Another little thing that this you might struggle with, because actually I just did this a few minutes ago when I was recording this video and there was nothing coming through. I could hear it, but I couldn't see the meters. And all I did was to mute it and then unmute it and then all of a sudden I could see it down here. And I'm pretty sure that's the issue. If, as soon as you can, you need to keep this sound levels tab open in front of you. And if you can see it playing down there, check it out. Then that means it's coming through. And also uh, as a little tip on this, you know, try to keep these the same. You see that my voice coming through on this microphone is just touching onto the yellow. So when I play a video down here, I want it to be set very much the same and I can just dial it back with this if I want to. Now we can just skip this out In anyway. this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a commentary video. And a uh, big thank you to Sammy. So there you go, you can see that that's coming in at the same levels and that is coming into my recording. And uh, hopefully that's gonna solve your question. Um, but if it isn't and you've got any other things going on, please do let me know in the comments. And um, please know as well that uh, you know this came out of a question. So if you've got a question or there's a follow on to this that you'd like us to help you with, uh, please do let us know in the comments and please be sure to subscribe. And why don't you go and check out our playlist with other questions like this.